Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 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 Bismillahirrahmanir Uh, answer this question. The skeleton is an inert organ or dead or plastic uh, skeleton. Is it true? The answer is actually no, because the skeleton is a metabolically active organ. The skeleton has two functions, structural and metabolic. Don't forget that the bone marrow is a major organ uh, for blood production. The new definition of osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is defined as a skeletal disorder characterized by compromised bone strength, predisposing a person to an increased risk of fracture. Bone strength primarily reflect the integration of bone density and bone quality, which is very, very, very important. Because in most of the measurement, including DEXA scan, we only measure the bone density and the bone quality cannot be measured of in the most of these measures unless bone biopsy. Uh, so, you may find patient with low bone density but low risk for fracture because the bone quality here is good and vice versa. The, the bone density, the T and Z score for example, uh, in the DEXA, maybe so uh, within normal or just osteopenic, and you will find the patient had fracture, fragility fracture, because here the bone quality is poor. This is the normal bone, typically, and this is the osteoporotic bone. You will find this uh, dense uh, mesh of typically. Uh, here, some of the typically are either fractured or thinned or not completely attaching the, uh, vert the vertical uh, trabeculae. Osteoporosis by literally means porous bone or bone with bores. It is a disease in which the density and the quality as I said of bone are reduced. As bone becomes fragile the risk of fracture is greatly increased and this is the main important problem. Osteoporosis is a silent disease, but the problem is the increased risk for fracture. Silent disease because the patient may not be aware that they have it until they break a bone or they had a fracture. So, early diagnosis and the prevention of fracture before it occurs is very important because the patient may have no symptoms at all or just mild or vague symptoms. The magnitude of the problem of osteoporosis. Epidemiology of osteoporosis worldwide. Osteoporosis causes more than 8.9 million fractures annually, resulting in an osteoporotic fracture every three seconds all over the world. So every three seconds, there is a person uh, in some uh, place is fracture due to osteoporosis, not due to major trauma. The combined lifetime risk for hip, for arm, and vertebral fractures coming to clinical attention is around 40%, equivalent to the risk of cardiovascular disease. So, in your life expectant uh, duration, uh, the combined risk for hip, for arm, and or vertebral fracture in your total life is 40%. So 40% of people will fractured when it uh, when they come to old age, which is equivalent to the risk for cardiovascular disease. Osteoporosis is estimated to affect 20 million women worldwide. 20 million women. The world has 8 billion population. Half of them are female, so there are 4 billion of uh, population uh, excluding uh, children and the young adults so you will have at least uh, 1 or 1.5 million uh, billion uh, females post or around post 
of them 20 million had already osteoporosis. However, osteoporosis is very underdiagnosed. I said before the disease is silent. Diagnosis of osteoporosis of radiative vertebral fracture is done by only less than 2% of primary care physicians. Treatment is only reflected to 36% of diagnosed patients. So the disease is both underdiagnosed and undertreated. Even if diagnosed, the treatment is only uh, affecting it only reflected to 36 uh, percent so nearly two-thirds of the diagnosed cases will not be treated here are two studies you will find uh, the result the disappointing results of these studies uh, Gilbach et al 20 uh, 2000 and the Morris et al 2006 both of them show the very underdiagnosed nature of the disease and even under treated uh, cases. The prevalence of osteoporotic fractures, you will find that one in each two women over the, f the age of 50 years will have fragility fractures and one in five men over the, the age of 50 years is uh, having fragility fractures. 55% of people over 50 years had uh, increased the risk of fracture due to low bone density. So nearly half of, be of people over 50 years had osteoporosis or at least osteopenia. In women 50 years or older, fracture risk is equal to the combined risk for breast, ovarian, and uterus cancer, lifetime, lifetime risk. So the risk of fracture in female over 50 equal the combined risk for breast, ovarian, and uterine tumors. The disease is not only a fracture. For example, hip fractures are associated with morbidity, permanent discapacity, lack of ability to walk independently, and complete daily life activity, and they may also uh, uh, reach to death. So, after one year of hip fracture, 80% uh, for each uh, out of each five, 80% uh, will not be able to independently do at least one daily activity, uh, uh, daily life activity bef uh, done before the fracture, and the 40% will be incapable of working independently. They need, uh, for example, walker, uh, crutches, uh, wheelchair, or or some uh, like this. 30% will have permanent discapacity. You will know incapacity or capacity. This discapacity, the opposite of capacity. And unfortunately, 20% may die within the first year. So it is a fatal mistake. It is not only a handicapping disease. It is a fatal disease. Uh, sorry, fatal disease. It is not only a handicapping disease. This is disease had an 80% uh, survival rate for one year. One year survival rate is 80%, which is comparable to some of the major cancers.